let's break out our sewing machine. Woo! Oh, I really hope this doesn't pop it. It'll scare the heck out of me. Okay, you ready? One, two, and... Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And today, we're gonna be decorating this 15 foot tall craft mystery. Oh, craft mystery, oh, craft mystery, oh, how the glue gun burns me. in my last video if you guys want to go check it out. I'll put a card right here. If not, it'll be down in the description down below. It was a lot of fun. It was probably my biggest project, I'd say. Anyway, let's make some fun Christmas decor. Okay, so this is how you make a giant pillow ornament. This actually looks really cool, really soft. I can't wait to actually own one of these things. So how do we do it? So the first thing you're gonna want is fabric. Then you cut it into a leaf shape and you make identical ones just like that. You sew them all together and then you should get a ball. Then you shove that ball filled with uh, cotton. That yeah, looks pretty good. Hot glue with the top together. Then you gotta make the ornament top. So what you gotta do is get some fabric, cut it just like this. Sew and fill, just like the last one. Then you get yourself some fancy rope. Hot glue it on. And boom, you got yourself an ornament pillow. It's so comfy. Yeah, I think this one looks pretty good. I'm actually really excited to do this one. So, um, I guess we're gonna try it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get some paper. Why am I getting paper, you ask? Well, I'm gonna explain that in a second. Calm down. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and tape some of these papers together. Boopity boop. Other side. Okay, it looks good. Then we're gonna go ahead and get this shape from the video. And we're just gonna trace it because they didn't give us uh, the exact dimensions of this. I'm letting Tori use the monitor that I usually use for tracing stuff and the one that I don't care about. Uh, so I don't have it right now, so I'm using this one. Oh no, it's just a little bit too short. Oh well, it's good enough. Or maybe I can turn it. <gasps> if I turn it, it just covers it. You guys are probably cringing right now because I'm doing this to my monitor. <laughs> and I'm sorry. Okay, awesome. Now we go ahead and cut it out. Clean and efficient, my favorite way of cutting things. Then we break out our fabric. I got nice and shiny fabric. Ooh, just gonna lay it out nice and flat, make our outline. Okay, now I just gotta make six more. Let's do this. marked out. It's time to do some cutting. Here we go. Okay, one down, five more to go. Uh, let's do this. 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 Okay, we're all done cutting them out. Now let's break out our sewing machine. This is Tori's sewing machine. I'm just hoping that I don't mess it up. She showed me how to use it and uh, I actually broke her last sewing machine, so I had to buy her this one. Anyway, let's do some sewing, shall we? Uh, the top. Okay, here's our shiny fabric. I got this because it's supposed to look like metal, and uh, I got way too much of it. I got way too, I got way too much of this. Anyway, we're gonna lay it out. We gotta make these shapes right here. So, uh, I, they, again, didn't give us dimensions on anything. Like, they literally could have given us dimensions on this, but uh, we're just gonna guess. So I'm thinking it's like, that's probably way too long. I don't have a shorter ruler. Well, I have a solution. Perfect. Boobity boop. This looks about the right length. Now we gotta make the circle. I think I'm just gonna use one of these rolls of tapes instead. This looks like it'll about work. Here we go. And a one, and a two. Perfect, now we're gonna go ahead and cut this bad boy out. Okay, yeah, these look uh, look pretty good. Take all the excess off. Now we gotta somehow sew all these together. <laughs> Sewing is so hard. I feel like this is gonna be a little bit more complicated than what I'm used to. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now that I got this all sewing pinned up and uh, in the shape that I want, I'm gonna go ahead and break out our sewing machine again. Okay, let's hope I don't mess this up. done with all the sewing, it's time to try and flip these guys inside out without uh, breaking them. I should have probably made a bigger hole for me to flip this inside out, but uh, oh well. If I could even find it, I think it was right here. Oh, how am I gonna do this? Oh my, I messed up. I definitely messed up. What have I done? All you professional sewing people are probably just laughing at me right now. Oh my goodness, come on, get in there. 
We did it. Well, almost, almost. Yes, I did it. Oh my gosh. Wow, that actually turned out a lot nicer than I thought it would have. Now for this one. I was actually responsible and I made the hole big enough in this one. There we go. That's a lot better. Now to fill these bad boys with some polyfill. Wow, this is actually turning out kind of cool so far. I definitely think I need to keep filling it out though. It's definitely not the most round pillow in the world, but you know, it's fine. It's kind of lumpy. This thing takes a lot of stuffing. Wow! Now I have to stuff this little one. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Okay, so this uh, this turned out uh, similar to what we want. <laughs> I think I might have overstuffed it a little bit. I don't know. It, it's 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 close. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our rope. Start right here. We're gonna work our way up. Not a Robbie video unless I burn myself with the hot glue gun. You know what? It's not as pretty as theirs, but it'll have to do. Am I right? <laughs> oh no. Well, I tried. Put this off to the side. Now I gotta sew this bad boy up. I can't really use a sewing machine, so it looks like I'm doing it by hand. Oh, there we go. It's all sealed up. Oh man. Uh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. This will be the top. Ooh, it looks pretty good. It's kind of like a giant blue pumpkin almost. Now apparently we just have to hot glue this onto this big boy. Here we go. Just let the hot glue cool down. Okay, and this is how it turned out. What do you guys think? We got ourselves a giant pillow ornament. I definitely think I could have made this part a little bit smaller. Uh, and it, it definitely looks like a giant blue pumpkin. Wow, it's the perfect pillow. But besides those two little flaws, I'm gonna have to say that this one totally works. And now I have myself this cool pillow. Whoa, I'm pretty impressed with myself. This is like the first time I've ever really used a sewing machine without breaking it. <laughs> anyway, dude, nice. So here's how you make yourself some giant Christmas lights. What you're gonna need is some balloons, blow those puppies up, then you get some rope, and hot glue it onto some cups. Then you carefully super glue the cups onto the balloons. Do it a bunch of times and boom! You got yourself a bunch of giant Christmas lights. This one also looks really cool, but I don't think that it'll last very long because they're balloons. They'll eventually deflate. But for a day or so, that's really awesome. Uh, so let's try it. I still have one more case of balloons and this balloon inflator. This is actually leftover from the time that I filled 10,000 balloons with $10,000. If you guys wanna watch that video, you can click right here. If not, uh, just keep watching this video. Don't even worry about that video anyway. So first things first, I'm gonna need to blow up some balloons. Okay, one down, um, a bunch more to go. Oh, okay, the, about this much should do. So now we're gonna go ahead and get some cups and some yarn. Then we're gonna glue this yarn on every foot or so. First one, boop, boop, boop. Next. Okay, these are all done. All sticking together pretty well too. Some of the glue needs to dry still, but you know what? It's fine. Now apparently we're just supposed to go and take the balloon and glue it right onto the cup like this. I feel like this hot glue will literally pop it. Uh, we're about to find out. You ready? Oh, I really hope this doesn't pop it. It'll scare the heck out of me. Okay, you ready? One, two, and... Okay, we're good! Wow! It actually helped! One down, a bunch more to go. Let's do this! Let's do this! Let's do this! Let's do this! Okay, we're all done! Let's put these bad boys on the tree! So here's how you make yourself a candy cane wreath. Get yourself some candy canes and some hot glue. Hot glue a couple of the candy canes together so that they're like kissing. And then you just do it a bunch more times. Get your peppermints, hot glue those bad boys on, add a ribbon, and then you're all ready to hang that bad boy up! Wow! I think that this will be a perfect addition to our craft mystery. Okay guys, so here are our candy canes. But before we do this, I'm actually gonna put down some parchment paper. The parchment paper is gonna help a lot because now it's not gonna stick to my desk. So it looks like the first step to this is we have to glue them together like this. Okay, boop boop boop. Now I just have to do that with like all of these. They're kind of like weird hearts, like extremely long hearts. Now we let those cool down for a second. Okay, glue's all cooled down, and I'm actually gonna clean it up a little bit with scissors. You know, just kinda cut them off there, just some of the excess stuff. Boom, bam, looking good. Stop here. Line them up. 
I only did enough to make half of it. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue all these together and then we'll go ahead and make the other half. Wow, look how fans. It said to use little peppermint candies with it, but I don't have any, so we're just gonna use some Skittles. Taste the rainbow. Uh, honestly, I think this is way cooler anyway. Last but not least, we add the bow. Hope I don't break this. Oh my gosh. It survived. Very careful. This thing feels like it's gonna break any second. There we go. Wow. This does not feel like a very sturdy reef. Well, I guess, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one kind of works. Now let's go hang it on our Christmas tree. Okay, so I actually ended up adding a bunch of supports because I really don't trust this thing. Ow! I just burned myself. Uh, okay, now we'll try it on the Craftmas tree after it cools down. Oh, that is so much more solid. Perfect. Okay, guys, so this one's actually kind of random. I was just on the internet looking for a way to make giant candy canes, and uh, this just happened to be a method of doing it. So the first thing we're gonna need are some pool noodles. Oh, uh, yeah! <laughs> Whoa! in this but for some reason there's like blue wrapped in like this red i guess it kind of looks red i feel cheated i was supposed to get red pool noodles dang it so once we get our pool noodle we get ourselves some white tape and then we just put it right around the pool noodle like so okay there we go that kind of looks like a candy cane so far now we got to make it so that it's bent like this and to do that i bought some of this copper wire it's probably not the cheapest way to do it because copper wire is kind of expensive Come on, get in there. Now, theoretically, when I twist it, uh, that's not bad. There's a little booger hanging out. Oh, there we go. Much better. Oh no, it doesn't want to stay in this position. Turns out, pool noodles kind of hard to bend. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Now I just gotta do this uh, a bunch more times. <laughs> Now we cover them all with tape. I only have enough copper wire for about 10 of them, so. Oh, I had to take off my hoodie because I got way too hot. Okay, now we gotta fill all these pool noodles with the wire. Luckily, we already have one down. There we go. And we're all done. Woo! Okay, guys, now it's time to make our penne pasta star for the crab mystery. Uh, it looks like uh, the one from two years ago didn't really survive. Uh, anyway. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is some parchment paper. Hopefully this will be enough. Then we break out some penne pasta, and I'm gonna use some spaghetti to help hold it in place. So first things first, we gotta put it together. One, two, Okay, yeah, that looks about right. Now we just have to hot glue it all together. Okay, now we just let it cool down. Okay, we're all cooled down. Now let's see if this bad boy actually stays together. Oh, and we're good. Woo! Dude, awesome. Now it's time to spray paint this bad boy. So first I'm gonna start off with a primer. Other side. Now for the metallic gold finish. Really glad I used a primer. This looks so much better than the last two years. Wow. This actually turned out really nice. Uh, let's go put this on the top of our tree. Whoa, okay guys, now it's time to decorate our Christmas tree. And the first thing I think I wanna do is add the lights. Okay, here we go. One strand went around twice. This is gonna take a lot of Christmas lights. Oh, craft mystery, oh, craft mystery, oh, how the glue gun burns me. Oh, craft mystery, oh, craft actually kind of tired now, so I put all these Christmas lights on with the help of Tori Dabransky, uh, and uh, now I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna take a quick nap, and then I'm gonna continue. <laughs> ah! Tomorrow. Woo! Okay, I just woke up from my eight hour long nap. Uh, now it's time to put the giant Christmas lights on this bad boy. I think I might have tangled them a little bit. Oh, I hate untangling the Christmas lights every year. This is the worst. Oh, and I feel like I'm making it way worse. I need to find the last one on the end. Oh, 
okay, I'm gonna do this really quick. Okay, so one hour later and I untangled all of the giant Christmas lights. Uh, now it's time to try and put them on. To do that, I'm gonna use these sticks that I duct taped into wise. And that's what it looks like with the giant Christmas lights. It looks absolutely ridiculous. I love it. Okay, now it's time for our giant pillow ornament. I was at Walmart and I found an identical Christmas ornament to the one I made. Like, it looks way better, but wow. <laughs> Even the tops are the same. That's hilarious. Anyway, this is the, I only have two, so that's one and two. Giant ornaments and a bunch of uh, ginormous Christmas lights. Now we gotta hang our wreath. Where should we hang this bad boy? Maybe, I'm thinking just like right here. And a boo bitty boo. Now to do the giant candy canes. I actually hot glued a cup to the bottom, that way I could stick it onto the top of the tree. I was originally gonna hot glue it, but I don't think I could make it to the very tippity top. It's kinda scary up there. Okay, so here we go. Okay, and here we go. No! Dude, you can't even you can't even see it. That's wild. It's so high up there, you can't even see the star. Well, here it is, guys. All the way up here. Oh, what a journey. And here it is. The finished Christmas tree. Now the only thing to really do is to plug it in. Again, here we go. Three, two, one. Wow! It's beautiful. It changes the paint. Oh, that looks better. Wow! Did the lights really do anything? I think it's because I have all these lights on. I, I feel like I have to turn them off. Well guys, the tree is all done, and it looks great. Oh wow, Robbie! I love it! It makes me want to sing a song! Oh no. What what song is it? <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> anyway, if you guys like the video, make sure I give it a big old thumbs up. It looks up in this fire right down there. If you guys want to see even more fun Craftmas videos, I actually have a whole playlist that you can watch right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to buy any of this merch, you can click right here. And if none of that stuff sounds fun, you can always click the mystery card. Okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Merry Craftmas!